welcome to a short demo where we're going to highlight the Salesforce nonprofit cloud for fundraising and in this session we're going to focus on how to enter gift commitments which is a crucial aspect for nonprofits to manage fundraising activities and donor relationships but first let me introduce you to healthy communities which is a fictional nonprofit that focuses on improving the health and well-being of people and communities through access to health care nutrition and sanitation Healthy Communities relies on fundraising to support its mission and programs. They have various types of fundraising activities, such as individual giving, recurring gifts, matching gifts, pledges, grants, and campaigns. And in this presentation, we're going to focus on pledges specifically. One of the key roles of fundraising is the gift processor. The gift processor is responsible for entering gifts into Salesforce, which is the platform that Healthy Communities, Healthy communities uses to manage their donor relationships and data. The gift processor has some main objectives and considerations when entering gifts, and the gift processor needs to enter gifts quickly and accurately as they receive a large volume of gifts from different sources and methods, such as checks, credit cards, online donations, and more. And the gift processor can generate receipts and acknowledgements if needed through Salesforce. The gift processor also faces some challenges and risk when entering gifts, and uh, one of the main things is that the gifts Entering gifts can be complex and time consuming as they have to follow certain rules or procedures to ensure data integrity and validation. Entering gifts also affects donor satisfaction and tension as donors expect timely and accurate processing of their gifts and also rec recognition of their impact. So to address these challenges and risk, Health Communities has adopted the new nonprofit cloud solution for fundraising which provides a streamlined and simplified way to enter and manage gifts. Now let's hop into Salesforce and see how the gift processor uses this solution to enter a pledge gift from a loyal donor. In Salesforce, we are gonna use the Fundraising Operations app, which is out of the box and helps nonprofits to enter and manage gifts from donors. The Fundraising Operations app also helps your team perform the essential task of fundraising, such as entering and processing gifts, recording donor commitments, which is what we're going to focus on today, and updating or pausing gift commitment schedules. Now, let's take a look at a generous donor, Emily Blunt, as an example. Emily has graciously pledged $5,000 annually for the next three years to support our health programs. Now, let's see how we can enter this pledge into the system. First, we're going to navigate to the gift commitments object, and we're going to click new to create a new gift commitment. We're going to search for our donor using the donor lookup field. We're going to add a name for this gift commitment, which is simply going to be Emily Hunt annual pledge. We're going to leave the schedule type as recurring. We're going to add a campaign as health programs. We're going to add an effective start date of May 1st. We're going to add a expected total commitment amount of 15,000 because we're expecting 5,000 over three years. Our expected end date is going to be in 2026 because we're receiving a donation this year, 2025 and 2026, which will be three payments. And we're going to save this. After saving the gift commitment, we can scroll down and see that there's additional information here that are read only fields. So these are calculated fields. Um, under the fulfillment information section and these will update as we enter transaction uh, data so let's start that process by looking at the gift commitment setup component here uh, we have manage gift commitment schedules and we're going to click manage and it's going to bring us up a helpful ui to help us set up a gift commitment schedule so for the start date we're going to say that this is on may 1st of 2024 and the end date is going to be in 2026 on May 5th. Doing that, we're going to expect that there will be three gift transactions automatically created. The gift transaction period is going to be yearly because we're expecting one gift per year. And the gift transaction amount is going to be 5,000 because we're expecting three payments of 5,000. Our payment method is going to be check. And uh, our campaign is automatically assigned to health programs. And we're going to click save. Once we see that, we see this is updated to completed. The next one here is manage gift default designations. 
for this we're just going to designate this to the general fund but you have the ability to add multiple designations and uh, give them a percentage based on how much you would like to allocate towards each designation we're going to click save and now we see that the gift commitment component has disappeared as we fully set up this gift commitment to see upcoming gift transactions now that we set up the schedule we will click the refresh button here and we can see that three payments are upcoming of five thousand dollar each and the payment method is going to be check we can also see if there would be missed or failed gift transactions as this gift commitment moves through the process and as the transactions are received or paid this will be updated as well to show that information if we go to related we can see that there's one gift transaction that is upcoming and the status is currently set to unpaid and if we hop over to Emily Hunt's contact record or person account record we can see that is reflected here as a uh, gift commitment and um, if we hop back over to the pledge or the gift commitment and we update this really quickly we can go to gift transaction let's set this to status as paid Oh, you have to set the transaction completed date as well so let's say that we received this um, today we got it early let's hop back over to the gift commitment itself let's refresh the page and what we're gonna see is that when we go to upcoming gift transactions or paid paid or refunded tr gift transactions as I mentioned before we'll see that we have the payment at set the paid and we have uh, information on that transaction here in this component uh, thanks so much for uh, hopping over to Salesforce with me now let's hop back to the presentation now to close by using the nonprofit cloud we're able to streamline our gift management process making it more efficient and reducing reducing manual effort uh, we also have visibility into the commitments payments and donor interactions all in one place and um, we're able to see that how the gift commitment object allowed us to manage pledges like Emily's with ease and it reduces complexity, ensuring data compliance, and most importantly, supports the mission of the nonprofit. Thank you so much. My name is Jerome. Um, I'm with 110 Consulting and I'm a solution consultant with the team. And you can find my LinkedIn at Jerome Howard. And thanks so much.